Imagine you have an application and you're trying to confirm that inside the head element you have an expected author, description, title. Maybe you know the exact text to look for, for example, for the author. But maybe you know just a part of a text for other tags. How would you check these tags from Cypress? Well, first of all, many people don't know that you can select the elements by using the selector head and let's say title, because it's an element inside a head element. You can also select a meta tag and just provide the attribute that you know, for example, name, author, right? And it returns the full HTML element. Okay, so let's confirm it from Cypress. I already have uh, this example running and this comes from my repo Bakhmutov Cypress Workshop Basics. I wanna visit the site so I can see it loads. And let's start with a title. We can use the same selector get at title, which gives us an element. And we can confirm that it contains text. Should have text. I don't know. I think this one is view to do MVC. Oh, it has this weird uh, emoji for a dot. So maybe instead of have text, we'll say include text and We'll just specify a part of the title. Perfect. Now let's confirm the author's name. So we need to get the head, meta, name, author. And we know precise text. So we'll say should have, well, it's not text, right? Because this is an attribute content. So we can get that value using should have adder assertion and the name of attribute is content and the value we're looking for is Gleb Bahmadov. and it works and for the description we can do the same thing right description but we don't know the exact value so why don't we log it first and then we'll see what it is if we open the dev tools and rerun this then we get this object and inside ugh, it's hard to get the attribute so here's what we can do let's get the attribute itself should have at now assertions in cypress are usually not changing the subject if you got the element and you check it then you continue with the same element but assertions like should have at are different they change the subject to the value. So in this case, um, we want the content. Okay, and if we print to the Cypress log what we get, look, we get the string, the content attribute itself. And let's say that it should include workshop, right? We no longer have to do uh, include text because we already have a string. So all we're checking if a string includes the substring workshop. So this is how you would validate elements inside the head element of a page, something like title, like meta tags.